What's up guys and welcome to the 10th tutorial of the uh, PHP backend and in this tutorial I'm going to restructure things a little bit in order to make uh, the classes have a little bit higher cohesion and what this means is that I will take stuff in this case colors that's uh, kind of details about colors and put them in a controller that should be responsible for uh, colors details and uh, the way to do it is I want to grab these functions and put them in a color controller so what I'm trying to achieve here is basically a MVC pattern and if you're not familiar with uh, MVC pattern I think you should uh, google a little bit and uh, read up on it because it's a really common pattern especially in web development and uh, there is a lot of PHP frameworks out there that uh, use this pattern and other kind of frameworks as well. So it's something that you should really read up on. So the first thing that we need to do is create a new file. So I create a new PHP class and I'll call it uh, color controller. And uh, this class will inherit the database interface like this. And the next thing that I want to do is I want to grab everything that's related to colors in here uh, like this and I'll cut it out and save the file and then I go in here and save everything in here. So now we have all the color related stuff in the color controller. So also as you can see I get a warning here member has private class access and this is I trying to get to the connection instance variable and at the moment it's declared as private so in order to to be able to access it I need to make it protected like this and if I go back I should now be able to access it so this is uh, this will and this will enable me to get to the connection instance and as you can see now we have much higher cohesion since the database interface is only doing stuff with the database connection and the color controller is only doing stuff that's related to colors almost we have some stuff in here that we're going to look at later uh, and the last thing that we want to make uh, is make this uh, class abstract and this will mean that we cannot make an instance of only the database interface we can only make instances of s other classes that is inheriting it for example the color controller so let's save these files to so make sure that everything is saved and then the last thing we need to do we also need to include the uh, the, the uh, color controller in, in order to be to be able to access it like this and then I'll save the file and if I go to postman I should be able to uh, do exactly this but with our new controller instead so I'll try to access the color controller like this and I should be able to get results like this and uh, at this point we have made a much better uh, implementation and increased the cohesion of the, of the classes a lot. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.